clearly Canadian hourglass. I'm starting off this project by 3D printing this two-way funnel that I'll use to inset into two clearly Canadian bottles. I also got some play sand that I'm sifting here to make sure that all the bigger chunks are removed so they go through that two-way funnel. And I'm just going to test it out while I proceed on the next steps. I have some black walnut that I want to use for the bases or platforms of the hourglass. So here I'm just cutting them to size and then in triangle shapes to make them look interesting. Here I'm just finding the centers of the triangles so I can cut out the holes to start working on the insets. I'm going to use this paint can top as a template for the bottom and top of the hourglass because it seems to fit perfect around the bottle bottom. I use the back side of the drill bit to set it into the hole that I drilled into the triangle piece so I could ensure that the circle was centered perfectly. And then I cut out the holes. I decided it would be a little bit more interesting if I put a little chamfer on in the inside of the holes, so that's what I'm doing here. And then a quick test fit. I have some cherry that I'll use to contrast the walnut and use those as spindles for the hourglass. And I'm just turning them to some random shape that I decided on and trying my best to copy six of them. I decided that I wanted to round off the corners of those triangles, so I use a bottle cap as a template for a round over and then just cut them off and then scroll off. I'm also using the bottle cap as a template for where I need to drill holes into the platforms for those spindles to be glued into. Once everything was done, I sanded all the pieces to 220 and then gave it a coat of poly. I epoxied the 3D piece to one of the bottles. All right, so I just took this and measured how much time I had in sand. And there was about nine minutes, and I didn't feel like that was a good number. So I reduced the amount of sand in there till I got about five minutes. So this is a five minute hourglass now. Now I'm gonna glue the sucker up and see what we got. So I decided to use that epoxy for all the remaining pieces because I wasn't sure if any other glue would really work very well since the poly was pretty much all over the place. Hey, if you're enjoying my content, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and commented below, shared with somebody you know, and if you're feeling extra generous, check me out on Patreon. Hope you all have a great week. Bye.
Well, it's five minutes-ish.